Hello guys, welcome back! Today I am going to map a mood tracker with XMind. I've recently started self-care journaling and find out that a mood tracker is great for mental health management and control. To graph a one-week mood tracker, I am using the matrix structure in XMind. Sometimes you get to be creative with using the built-in structures to graph more themes with XMind. For the column setting, I am listing 7 days from Monday to Sunday in order to track. And for rows, I am categorizing my mood status into 5 groups. Wonderful, feel great, I'm okay, kinda blue, and miserable. To better differentiate these groups, I am also adding stickers for each one. So now we've finished the basic template of an XMind mood tracker. It's time to fill out each day's mood. For example, on Monday, I feel very happy about baking my mom a birthday cake. So I am changing the fill-in color of my subtopic box into red and typing in today's activities. Let's say on Tuesday, I study up all night and feel really tired and kind of blue. So I am filling in the reasons of my mood changes and changing the color of the box to blue. In the following days, I remember to update my mood tracker every night and write down things that make me happy or sad. To make my map cleaner and more consistent, I am selecting all the boxes and setting a fixed width of 200. After tracking my mood for a week, this finished map helps clearly see ups and downs in my mood changes and facilitates to take better care of my mental health. I encourage you to play different content and themes with the built-in XMind structures. You never know what you can create out of them. Thanks for watching. Remember to prioritize your mental health in 2021. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.